Hey guys, what's up? It's Jason with Orion Training Group and we're uh, at FRC's indoor shoot house uh, getting ready to do some work on some pie pan techniques around some threshold evaluation, right? So one of the things we like to, uh, to concern ourselves with is getting set up for proper room entry. Um, prior to doing that, we want to look and make sure that we don't see anything that would inhibit our ability to flow inside of the room. So what we want to do is take an evaluation of what's going on inside by doing a pie technique. The way I get set up for my pie, right? looking over the top of the gun, right? The gun's in my shoulder, I've got everything working my, whether it be my white light or my laser, everything's ready accessible, but I'm looking over the top of it, right? We call that a titty index. I like to start with my right foot forward, kind of in line with it here, looking as deep as I can to the right. As I start to lean out, making sure that I keep the elbow tight to the body, bring this rear foot over, snake it around, and lean a little bit more, right? It's just like, people that will be shooting around a barricade, right? People have a tendency to kind of get their side selves in line with it uh, as not to expose a lot of their area. What I'm trying to do is minimize what I can see, uh, I'm sorry, minimize what they can see and maximize what I can see. So right. being able to snake my rear leg around allows me to see a little bit more depth into that room. And once I've got over on the apex, which is I'm looking there at first, and once I snake over, then I start to look on this apex right here. Once I figure out that there's nothing right there, I can kind of start to ease myself out a little bit, take a little bit of high, real slow. The idea is to move as slow or as fast as you can process information or data that's going on inside of that room. Once I get set up over here, I may change my footwork to be able to look a little bit deeper into that uh, that hallway that's going that direction, right? Yeah, so a couple small considerations there to think about, guys. What did Jason just say about processing speed? He said we want to move at the speed that we can actually get all this information. So if you were to do that same movement really quickly, it would be kind of unstable. He'd, we're not saying never cross your feet, but if you're crossing your feet really, really grossly, rapidly like that, you're losing the whole point of pine. So pine is a slow, slow movement where you maximize what you can see and you minimize what you're exposed to. Some people call it min-max. Um, so it's kind of an awkward setup, but just like he was talking about, it's, it's no different than shooting around a barricade on the flat range. You should make your CQB movements fit how you actually train on the flat range, not the other way around. So, yep. makes sense? <clears throat> so we're gonna see that from the other side. Um, what that would look like, again, we get ourselves set up for uh, our pie technique. Remember, I'm going on the apex right there at first to get some depth on into that hallway once I don't see anything is there. I'm gonna keep that elbow tight as I can, change my forward a little bit, and start to lean out, and stick that rear leg around, got a little bit more information. Now I went from that door frame over there, over here to this apex of this door frame. Again, once I don't see anything, stick that rear leg around, being small, small little movements. Looking over the top of the gun, minimizing my body as much as I possibly can so that the camera guy over there where you're looking has a hard time seeing a lot of my body being exposed. And once I get set, I can just kind of ease on over. There, there's no more work and I can reposition my foot if necessary to get a little deeper angle into that other room. Yep. Good job. Yeah, and I think the only thing to add is just because we know there's going to be somebody in the comments that's like, well, what if it's drywall? And that's 100% correct, right? Uh, bullets move through air just like they do through drywall. Uh, even some things that we would probably consider cover may not be actual cover. So <clears throat> something to consider is what is your manpower? What is your mission and what is your environment? Environment being what's the structure made of? How much distance and depth do we have that we can use? Um, come back out here, Mitchell, where you can see me and Jason. Uh, if this was like a trailer hallway, right? right here like where this little silver arrow is, it's maybe 28, 32 inches wide. Am I able to get the distance and work all of this? Not really. So this is not a catch-all solution. It's not something you do in every structure, every time, but it may be something you're doing where you're working a lot of stealth, maybe where you're by yourself and you want to take as much risk from the outside as you can, where you don't have a long threat, which we'll talk about in other videos. So it's just a small piece of the puzzle. Don't get wrapped around the action thinking we're saying like, go slow every time, right? There's a time and place. Pretty much it for me. Yeah, looks good. Sounds good. Cool. So, yeah, tune in for some more videos. We're going to have a lot more coming, and we appreciate you guys watching.